morning. Welcome to morning prayer from the Kidderminster Izmir team on Thursday the 3rd of December. If you've been awake for a little while, if you've been up for a few hours, it's good at the start of this day to take a pause, to open our hearts and minds to God and to the work of God's Spirit and prepare ourselves for the living of this day, recognising that God is present in it with us through all its hours and whatever it brings. Our reading from Revelation yesterday turned more towards the coming of the Holy City, the new Jerusalem, God's creation of a new heaven and a new earth. The question might be, well, what does that city look like? What might it be like? Our reading from Revelation 21, starting from verse 9, today gives us a image of beauty, of perfection, of goodness. It's rich with symbolic language and images. Maybe just the thing to do is to luxuriate in the beauty of what the writer hints at in the beauty of the city that is to come, the holy city, as we will be God's holy people. We'll also be using Psalm 42. And a psalm that speaks of that desire and longing for God. Maybe we can't put a word to it of what we seek. But that sense of seeking something. Maybe that is God giving each of us a nudge. To say, turn, come to me. Open your life to me. And I will feed that hunger, I'll quench that thirst. So let us pray together. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. The earth is the Lord's and all that fills it, the compass of the world and all that dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and set it firm upon the rivers of the deep. Who shall ascend the hill of the Lord or who can rise up in his holy place? Those who have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up their soul to an idol, will sworn an oath to a lie. They shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a just reward from the God of their salvation. Such is the company of those who seek him, those who seek your face, O God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who is mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O gates, be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and for ever. 
Amen. Psalm 42. As the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, Where is now your God? Now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul. I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? Why are you so disquieted within me? Put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. My soul is heavy within me. Therefore, I will remember you from the land of Jordan and from Hermon and the hill of Mizar. Deep calls to deep in the thunder of your waterfalls. All your breakers and waves have gone over me. The Lord will grant his loving kindness in the daytime. Through the night, his song will be with me, a prayer to the God of my life. And say to God, my rock, why have you forgotten me? Why go I so heavily while the enemy oppresses me? As they crush my bones, my enemies mock me. While all day long they say to me, where is now your God? Why are you so full of heaviness, O oh my soul? And why are you so disquieted within me? O oh, put your trust in God. I will yet give him thanks, who is the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Revelation chapter 21, starting at verse 9. Then one of the seven angels who had be, had the seven bowls full of the seven last plagues came and said to me, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And in the spirit he carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It has the glory of God and a radiance like a very rare jewel, like jasper, clear as crystal. It has a great high wall with twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and on the gates are inscribed the names of the twelve tribes of the Israelites. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. The wall of the city has twelve foundations, and on them are the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The angel who talked to me had a measuring rod of gold to measure the city and its gates and walls. The city lies four square, its length is the same as its width, and he measured the city with his rod fifteen hundred miles. Its length and width and height are equal. He also measured its wall, 144 cubits by human measurement, which the angel was using. The wall is built of jasper, while the city is pure gold, clear as glass. The foundations of the wall of the city are adorned with every jewel. The first was jasper, the second sapphire, the third agate, the fourth emeralds, the fifth onyx, the sixth cornelian, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprase, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. And the twelve gates are twelve pearls. Each of the gates is a single pearl. 
and the street of the city is pure gold, transparent as glass. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Look towards the east, O Jerusalem, and see the glory that is coming from God. Season of Advent. We both look back and look forwards. Think of the coming of Christ at the first Christmas and prepare ourselves to celebrate that. We also look ahead to his coming again, to the coming of that holy city. As we pray, I'll be using the word Maranatha, which means come Lord. The response is Amen, come Lord Jesus. Some times of quiet as we pray, perhaps to offer to God countries, situations, people in need of God's touch of love and healing and joy. And in that we can include ourselves in these testing times to open ourselves to receive that touch that God will give us which we can receive with open hearts. To Maranatha, the response is, Amen, come Lord Jesus. And so we pray. In joyful expectation of his coming to our aid, we pray to Jesus. Come to your church as Lord and Judge. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your kingdom. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to your world as King of the nations. Pray for those nations divided along many different lines. The race of economics, all the fault lines that as human beings we are so capable of creating and perpetuating. 
pray for those places of war and violence, of environmental destruction and struggle. Lord, before you, rulers will stand in silence. Maranatha, Amen, come, Lord Jesus. Come to the suffering, our Saviour and Comforter. Hold before God those known to us. You are in particular need today. Break into our lives where we struggle with sickness and distress and set us free to serve you forever. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come to us as shepherd and guardian of our souls. Give us with all the faithful departed a share in your victory over evil and death. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come from heaven, Lord Jesus, with power and great glory. Lift us up to meet you. That with all your saints and angels, we may live and reign with you in your new creation. Maranatha. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. Give new courage to your people who trust in your love. By your coming, Raise us to share in the joy of your kingdom on earth as in heaven. May you live and reign with the Father and the Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, give us grace to cast away the works of darkness and to put on the armour of light, now in the time of this mortal life in which your Son, Jesus Christ, came to us in great humility. That on the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal. Through him who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.